Do you ever like to sometimes sit on the top of mountains and just let yourself go within the embrace of the sun? Sorry. No. So, we're going to be trying to cover um, now Tora this time around. So, um, I had normally recovered hers, or did hers last time. I don't know why I'd go to sit underneath my foot when I just caused my ankle to fall asleep like a mere f three minutes ago. That was incredibly painful. I never learn. Anyway, so now Tora is fun. Um, she's a character that I always liked, but some of her moves elude me. Uh, the sun is gone. Great. So, her character image phrase is strong and righteous carnation. I guess like a, like a flower. Carnation is like a white flower. So that is Gogetsu Narashiko. So her Giga Basara title is Gold Tiger and her Giga Basara artwork image is a tiger with flowers and it looks like this. <laughs> Also, her weapon is a Kyokin, which means giant sword. That was sweet. Alright, so her personal inscription is respect women. So, funny thing about this that a lot of people don't really seem to understand either is that what her personal inscription does is it d deals double damage against male characters but half damage against female characters and what's funny about that is when she goes up against Kenshin it's supposed to do double damage against male characters but for some reason she does half damage against Kenshin who's obviously supposed to be a man so some people have a theory that Kenshin is actually a woman, but I don't really like that concept. I mean, he's voiced by a woman, but I never like the concept when people say, "Oh, he's really a man." I'm like, "No. Like he's like he's really a woman. I don't like that theory." I don't know where people come up with that crap. I think it's because like I said, her personal description is supposed to do half damage towards males uh or half damage towards females, but when she attacked Kenshin, it only does half damage to him when it kind of makes no sense. Enough of that though. So if you hold her square, it's called Leaping Iris or Tobi Ayame. So let's see here. Yeah. So another thing to note, um, when you go to do her taunt, if you push like the options button, um, she'll put her sword on her back and her moves will change. Meaning like if she jumps and she you land, she'll do like a palm thrust. See, like like a punch. And she does it by herself. All you gotta do is jump and land. <laughs> and that's her taunt. So, in order to get her taunt to activate, you actually do have to put her sword on her back and then hit it again. So again, like that's her hold square. And then if you taunt, it puts her sword on her back, and then you have to push it again. And then she does that. So her taunt is different compared to the other characters because you have to hit it twice. So like normal characters, all characters have an eight string square combo. So hers is like this. And then it finishes there. All right, so that's her um, her right string combo there. So on to her triangle. Her triangle is Kagami Fuji, which translates to Crouching Westeria. It's weird. Yeah, she's always she always says that. So. There's really nothing special about her normal triangle move. That's what it looks like, though. So her directional triangle is Mawari uh, Botan, which translates to Twirling Peony. Um, so, like, all of her attacks are, like, flower names. So directional triangle is... I believe there's a move like that where she jumps. She jumps and does the twirl, but it's probably going to take me 
a while to um, get her to do that. Like I said, her move set sometimes there's what there's a certain move I always try to do and I can never do it correctly. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So on to her R1. So it's Suki Sumire, which translates to lunging violets. <laughs> yeah, you can see why. So her L1 plus triangle is Hane Yagani, which translates to Jumping Willow. I might have said that a little too fast. I think it's Yanagi, but yeah, Hane Yanagi. Let's see here. Ooh, oh yeah, and then come down and slam the ground. Release her. I need to um, get up on the hill a little bit more to show that one. There we go. So that one's kind of kind of fun. All right. And her skill revision, there's not a name for it. I think I did buy it though, cause it's red. It's highlighted underneath her L1 plus triangle. So L1 plus square is her skill revision. Kind of looks something like this. Like she punches. So what's cool about this one? It kind of reminds me of one of our R2s. So what she does is if she does that and she punches and she land, lands it, she lands the hit, I think she'll send them up into the air and then she pushes them again. Like she puts their hand like on their stomach when she catches them above her head. So I'll have to show you that when I get um, near an enemy. I don't know if I have these in, in, in order. I want to say that I do. I hope so, because it's going to be really dumb if I don't, <laughs> like like always. Um, so her R2 is Tsubaki Hime, which translates to the Lady of the Camellias. So, well, Hime, I think it's like Lady or Princess also, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that one's my favorite. This one can insta-kill enemies. I don't know if it gets more powered up comparing to like if you hold it down. I, I don't think so. I didn't hold it there, so... Yeah, it does. So hers is one of those ones where if you hold it, she kind of like waits a little longer before she lets it go. So if you just push it normally, it's like this. I think if you hold it, I swear to God it changes if you hold it, so I'm gonna hold it. Yeah, see, she waits a few more seconds. She holds it for just like two seconds longer before she lets it go. All right, so her second one is Iryu Tanren, um, Aminaishi, I believe. So it translates to, so like, Iryu is like a uh, Lee style, and the Tanren is training. And Omni Nayeshi is golden lace. So let me see. This one is the one that's pretty weird. Let me see here. So this one, I'm not really sure what it really does. I think it just, I don't know if it really does double damage to anybody. Cause I feel like when you use this one and you attack enemies, it's just like beating them with a wooden mallet. Um, and so I don't think it actually does any damage to them at all. Sending the mountain. You can also cancel that by pushing it again. So if you hit it by accident and you don't want it, just push it again and the board will burst. Yeah, it's kind of funny, huh? So her third R2 is again, it's E style full force gardenia. It almost sounds like a damn game. <laughs> Full force, goddamn it! Oh, we got battleships. Uh, I was thinking of airplanes. I don't know why I said ships. Um. <laughs> All right, so it's um Iryu Kanshin, um Kuchinashi. So let's see, yeah, Kuchinashi. Ooh, that's the one where she punches. So it's almost the same as her skill revision. See, like the. Punch. So I'm going to have to go find an enemy to land this on. So, running down the mountain path to an area where I'm not clearly supposed to be. Oh! Um. Oops! Oh, they have her face us. Um, you're going to see something very funny. Like the jiggleage. Look, look at those fucking things. Like, 
jiggle, 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 j jello. Huh. Alright, let's see if I can get her skill revision. So if you keep pushing it, so I one plus square. I one plus square, I one plus square, and then she pushes upwards, and then again with this one too. So that was her third R2. Um, so basically all you do is push it once, and she'll she'll hit them and then send a, a shock wave forward. I'll show it to you again. Alright, so that's her third R2 attack, and then her skill revision, you have to keep pushing it. Once it, once it hits. Yeah. Want to be careful on playing on Heaven difficulty, and uh, she's like low level, so she's like a Tamagotchi. You gotta protect her. You do that. Oh, come on, Kane Sugu. That was a that was a parry. KG, what the fuck? He's like, I got you covered, girl, with the power of the flowers. Oh my god. Alright. So you can't use her R1 in midair for some reason. Her solo boss that looks like this. So Yuki Mura is supposed to be back here, but because I woke the game, um, you're not gonna be able to you know Yuki Mura. She's not really here. So what's cool about her is you can just run into Wicker Basket, Yuki Mura, please. You can just run into the whisker, wicker baskets and they break automatically, unlike other characters where you actually have to hit them. With her, you do not. You just run into them and they break because her hips are so girthy. KG! Bring it! By the way, you cannot use her R1 in midair, but you can use her L1 plus triangle in midair. <laughs> Oh yeah! Claiming bases off the grid, that's the way I do things. Come on, Haru! What are you eating? I totally forgot that Sasuke was here. Break! So I'll show you again. You can use her L1 plus triangle in midair and it kind of looks like this. Right. Yoda! Give me all your coins, Haru. Haru Hisamago, he was cool. He was voiced by the same guy who voiced Taraya in Naruto. I'm going through everything. Probably not where I should be. Oh my god. No, okay. KG Sama! What the shit? <sighs> Yeah, I need to get back to where I'm supposed to be, because I'm, I'm not supposed to be here. No, you don't! <laughs> no, you don't. It's like the most angry no, you don't ever. <laughs> Damn it. So we can go to where Sasuke is. He's that um, other red helmet at the top on the map there. <laughs> <laughs> He's all forgive me, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Gonna start sounding like Tamamo now? <laughs> Going through doors. <laughs> the way Keiji's just going from side to side behind me, like, I don't care, I don't see nothing, get out of my way! A lot of her attacks, sometimes they do feel kind of slow because like they feel really like heavy, heavy, heavy base. Ah! Now a Tora being attacked by a Tora was... KD. Get him. And I'm gonna no, just, just don't you just kidding me, boy. You get it. So none just that like stop kidding and do a thing. Stop kidding and do a thing. Gotta get through the door. Oh my god. Okay. Husky. Just jumping over him. He won't activate unless I go by that threshold over there on the right. No, that was not. Jesus. Have an orgasm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's fine, I'm not worried about nothing. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I missed him. Are you serious? <laughs> That's Gap, so unfair, he's psycho, he's crazy, oh my god. Oh, he's, he's super enraged. Uh, oh, he's gonna get me, oh, he's gonna get me with that, oh my god. Oh. Oh, I'm waiting for her to say that. She says that. Yeah, like, like Sonata vanished. Like, yes, he did. He's a ninja. He's a ninja. Kinito means vanish or gone. Yeah, I still have to go back and fight myself. Well, you know what? I think I released him from his boss chamber. So I could skip fighting myself and actually go right to where Yukimura is because I broke the stage so much so. He should be. He should be here. Hold on. Up around the corners I go, getting, getting stuck, you know. Gotta keep running the opposite direction, cause I'm not running the right way. Oh, resurrection. Huh! Oh, okay. Hmm. 
I just stood there and took it. Oh yeah, that's fucking great. Get, 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 get. Cool. It's enough to finish you. It's enough to finish you. I think he needs to calm the hell down. Calm the hell down. <laughs> okay. I didn't even need to fight myself. I could have, but who has time for that? Okay. Yeah, son. <laughs> right. Ah, oh, level 50 and it doesn't even really feel worthy, like, doesn't seem rewarding. Yeah, I really need to get more of those, that's not great. That's not great. Damn it. Okay. Let's see, gold, nope. Alright, so her default outfit. Her hair is really long, it's ridiculous. It's almost as long as mine. Or actually it's longer if she were to put it down, but I like the little blue shine she has to it. Look, woo! Blue shininess! This is her alternate. Kind of gives her the same attire as the other ladies who work under her, like the. I don't know what the hell you would even call them. <clears throat> This is her wedding hairstyle. Um, I, I like it. It's cool. It's it's. It, I like the bangs on it. That's why. And then this is her tanka metal outfit. The, um, what the hell was it called? The exotic queen, I think. Exotic queen version. Um, gives her like a mask and everything. Puts her the, her veil on the on the back becomes black and red instead of white. I like it. It's cool. It's a little weird to say the least, but it's all right. So back to weapons now. Let's see if I can translate this correctly. The one with the three is the one I'm using. So this is Kai Ken, a bell and three cups, I think. Doesn't really seem right though, but it has the third symbol in the center. So I'm dead, pretty sure that's it. This is her default one, so this is Kai Ken Wedding Kimono. So her default weapon, let me see. Her element is fire, I, I think I have a weapon with it, I think. I'm 100% sure I have a, a weapon with that element on it, yeah this one here. So this one here is Kai Ken Six Holy Days, I don't know why the hell it's called that. I, this is one of my favorite swords actually because it looks like something you would see in like Castlevania or something because it kind of looks like it has like a cross the way the hilt is. It has crosses on the hilt and on the like w what would be the guard. Um, it's one of my favorite weapons. It was the first one I gave her element to. It's really cool. Um, kind of looks out of place in a way I guess when you really look at it. I don't know. So this one here is the congratulatory chopstick. So this is supposed to be like her joke weapon or big star weapon as what you would call them. And it's literally just chopsticks in a wrap. Her hand even clips through it. That's how funny it is. This one here is her Kaiken Wedding Kimono Gold. And I believe this one is her um, 
Kai Ken wedding kimono unsigned. So it's it's her default weapon, only it becomes red with yellow. It gets yellow on one side, almost looks orange on the other. It's probably because it is. Okay. And then this big giant one here. This one, I believe, this one is Kai Ken Ceremonial Flowers. I don't know where they're getting the names of these weapons because there's no flowers on the weapon at all, but that's what it is called. It's like one of the most biggest and bulkiest weapons she has. The way how the blade splits into two kind of reminds me of the old Soul Calibur blade from Soul Calibur 2, how um, it would have it had two blades like that. Um, and so that one, that's what that one is called, Kai Ken Ceremonial Flowers. And the one that I that I, I like, I, I always called it the Keyblade because it straight up looks like a key. It, lo it looks exactly like a damn key. Um, this one is a bell in three cups. I don't know where, again, where the hell they're getting these names from because it clearly is not a bell and it, there are no cups on it. It would have been funny if they just call it Ceremonial Key or some bullshit. Um, but yeah, this is the one I use all the time. It's one of the ones that has a higher attack power compared to some of the other weapons. As you can see here when I'm going through them, it changes their stats drastically. So, um, it's one of the, the weapons I always focus on the most. So, oh, let me see if I can give KG something. There we go. Yeah, so those are all her, uh, all her weapons and all of her move sets. Well, basically, there was there's a combo that she has that I missed. It's really hard for me to do. Um, it's where she spins the sword around her in a circle. It was like her triangle move. Let me see if it, maybe I can show it off again if I start this again. Isa. So angry. Let me see if I can do it. Yeah, there it is. So that one there, that's the combo I, I always have a hard time doing. It kind of looks like a flower if you do it fast enough. So the way I did that was I tapped R1 and then immediately went to triangle and it they just kind of did it by itself. And then it's supposed to finish where she jumps and spins. So just run forward, hit R1 and then tap triangle and it, it should get her to do it. Like I said, it's hard to pull it off though. As you can see, I'm having a hard time. I always have a hard time with a lot of her moves. They, can, they drive me insane. Yeah, she has a bunch of combos you can pull off, but like I said, some of them I can't get them, so I'm not even really going to try to attempt them because make myself look like a damn idiot, so... Um, you get the point. Okay. Slap. They cannot hit me. I'm invincible. I'm not real. Okay. Go, KG, go! <laughs> go, KG, go, KG, go! Kill everybody, though! Okay. That's really all I can show you for her for right now. Um, that is all of her basic moves. She does have some combos, like I said, but they're really hard to pull off, and I'm not gonna spend 50,000 years trying to do them. Ah, my god! One thing I like about her though is that you can run through um, the wicker baskets without having to attack them to open it. You can just run right through it. Unlike other characters, you have to attack it first. But because her hips are so wide, she just breaks them instantly. Da, 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 
Yeah, that will go forever, by the way. I'm quite serious. If Once you teleport her out, so if you go and you defeat her, that orb will still be there doing that. And you can also get it to move somehow. I got it to move before. Yeah, I'm not gonna even try to do it because then that'll become a breaking stage video and that's not what this is. So, um... That's all of her basic attacks. There is really nothing else I can say about her, really. Um, that's really it, so. I also forgot to be... <sighs> when I put in the descriptions, like, their name, I forgot to put their name in Japanese next to their name in English, and I, that was something I think I always used to do, so I think I'm gonna have to go back and re-edit the ones I did. Um, I didn't do very many. Uh, thank God I didn't. So, I started with Kasuga's first, then Tsuruhime's, then Hanbei's, and now Oichi's. I also did Kenshin's before this, and now hers. So I'm gonna have to freaking go back and edit those and put their, uh, the Japanese spellings of their names with the characters next to their names. I actually literally forgot to do that. And just slipped my mind, I guess. Anyway, um, that's really all I can tell you about her. Um, she is a fun character to use, but like I said, a lot of her attacks, they kind of feel a little slow in some ways, like, cause her, hev her, web her weapon makes her really top heavy. Um, so like when you go to swing, you can actually feel the weight behind her. Um, it's not like it's, it's a problem or anything. Um, but you know what I mean? It's it just, it's just kind of weird. But anyway, um, thanks for watching if you did. Hopefully uh, you'll like like Naotora as well. She really is a fun character to use. Um, I'm not really sure though uh, who I'm going to go for next. Um, I might go for um, maybe Mitsunari next. I'm trying to go through all of these characters. Um, it's just taking me kind of a while to do so. So I haven't really decided um, who I'm going to be able to do all right away. So, um, But like I said, I'll be doing these, so you're going to be seeing a lot more of these. I'm trying to go through them fast, but slow enough to where people can understand it. And like I said, if you, I'm not really super great or fluent at Japanese. I never really claimed to be. So I might pronounce things wrong or I might say it in such a way that you're like, what the hell did she say? So if you go and you check in the description, it's always there if you want to see the names um, of the attacks and maybe read it or say it yourself, um, it'll be there. So I'm not sure who I'm going to cover. I don't think I have all of, all of Mitsunari's R3s, but because he's level 73, I think I do. I think you unlock everything like at level 40 or 30, um, like R2 wise anyway. But we'll see, because I, I can't remember. Um, but I guess thanks for watching if you did, and I'll see you next time.